We the top 10. UGK the major way, not play it, it don't stop here. Traffic lights, we going, know the time until the clock. Let's on roll, we doing digi to the whole block. Clear. Yo, what you got there? Oh, did you not hear? And he's taking over and we got the whole shot. Yeah, her, she want to know me better, but I'm on the top 10. Gotta match my energy, you see I'm in the top 10. Yeah, yeah, it's top 10. Mode, did you forget, did bro? You forget? Put, put, put GOD first and nothing less, no. Nothing less. On a radar per release, per request, yo. Life is like a dice game. Hey, how's it going? My name is Style Sergeant Butler, the local Air Force recruiter out of Springfield, Missouri. Over the next four days, we'll be going to over 20 schools, saying hi again to counselors, principals, and students. We will also be conducting interviews with them to see what they know about the Air Force and the benefits that we can provide for them. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you have any ideas on what we could do to make the video better, please comment them below. Also, don't forget to like the video and also share it to your friends so they can get more information on what the Air Force can provide for them as well. Thank you again. I'm Staff Sergeant Butler, and I hope you have a good day. Hey guys, again, welcome to Branson High School and Branson Air Force Junior ROTC. I really appreciate having you guys in for the RAP program. Uh, I'm Lieutenant Colonel Chris Brayman. Uh, I'm the, uh, the sassy here, commander, if you will, of the, uh, the unit. You met Sergeant Atwood earlier. And uh, right now we've got 75 cadets and, and growing, so we're, we're having a good time. And could I have your names again? Uh, Aaron Gregory. Aaron Gregory. And you are a flight engineer, right, for the yes. AWACS. Okay, cool. And, uh, and, and a graduate of Branson, right? Yes. Super cool. Aaron Barbie, I know you're a graduate of Ozark, so we won't tell Dr. Harris about that. But anyhow, and uh, so you are working with, uh, could you explain again the job? Emergency the, manager. So. Emergency manager. How cool is that? So you would deal with biological, nuclear, and things such as that. Great start. Okay, well, so we're all warriors here. So let's get back in and talk about uh, ROTC and the program. As an instructor, I just want to know uh, what uh, ROTC did for you and how you, you believe it uh, prepared you for the Air Force and for basic training. Uh, what's, what's your cut on that? Um, I would say, especially in BMT, it helped for me the uniform, because that's one thing that they hold pretty high there, your uniform checks, all that. Aaron Barbie, what about what about the leadership aspects of ROTC and and I know there's marching and many other things that helped you along too, but what about leadership and, and how to work in an organization? Um, we that I those roles of leadership definitely helped out. Um, it helped me learn my chain of command a little bit better. It also helps you learn how to follow and understand where different orders and different ideas are coming from. Now I'll tell you, I'm excited for you, but I have turned around and do it all again if I could. I was enlisted for three years. I did logistics and uh, I I was at Blyville Air Force Base. That dates me a little bit, but I was watching B-52s take off on a on alert launch and they call it the elephant walk sometimes when they don't fly, but when they flew, you could feel the ground shake for like an hour after they left. And I looked across the ramp and said, that's what I'm doing. And I had a good first sergeant that turned me on to that. So I did ROTC later and came back and served and flew. And well, here I am. I wanted to show you guys while you're here, our fighter simulator. So we have uh, a fighter simulator here. Of course, I've got it set up mostly like an F-15, but this is actually Warthog A-10 controls, but close enough, we can make them emulate the F-15 operations. So we fly uh, War Thunder, and sometimes when we've got time, we get into DCS and have some really good fights here. So all of my cadets fly this uh, as part of our, uh, in the spring semester, we do aerospace science, rockets, fighters, aircraft. We, we, we learn about the structure, aerodynamics, and then we come in and fly them, okay? So that's very cool. And so uh, I need them to know that, nope, you, you do well, you score well, it's, uh, there's a lot of options out there. But you guys have some of the best jobs on earth, I think. I think, I think you, you did very well. Hey, how's it going? My name is Staff Sergeant Butler. I'm here at Ozark High School today with First Sergeant Crawford. Welcome to Ozark to RC. Uh, Ozark uh, does grades eight through 12 here, um, which grade eighth grade we do let one minus. And let one is ninth grade, that's leadership, education, and training. Uh, let two, 10th grade, let three, 11th grade, and let four, 12th grade. And additionally, we have a drill team 
that is a nationally ranked or nationally winning drill team. They won the Rocky Mountain Nationals last year. We have a Raider team, which is a military themed fitness challenge. They won the mixed division, which is male female combined team last year at uh, Molina, Georgia. And then we have a rifle shooting team, which uh, set the actual Army record last year for the highest shot by any high school ever. Currently, we have about 255 cadets, a little smaller than last year, but I think it had to do with eighth grade switching to a more traditional schedule off of the block schedule, which will pick up probably at 30 or 40 more cadets at semester. So we'll be right back to around 300 is where we stay. Okay. Um, our goal here is obviously to make the kid the best kid he can be. Yeah. The whole winning and all that is all additional to the development of the kid. You know, the, the, what's that say? The Army says motivate young people to become better citizens. Yeah. That's great, but more importantly, we focus on them. What do you need to be the best you you can be? And then we work with each individual kid. And uh, I, One of the things we try to focus on here is the and. Like you graduate and, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna do service? Are you gonna do college? And it doesn't really matter what. It has to be the kid's plan and then we'll try to help them get to it. Yeah, so I have a question. Um, you know, we're Air Force recruiters, right? Yep. But at the same time, this is an Army ROTC. So do you have to be wanting to go to the Army or can you go, yep. want to go to Air Force? I, or no, I will recommend whatever's best for the kid yeah. based on his needs, his wants, his desires or hers. And it, um, for example, I, I just, we were talking to a kid that's not even an ROTC and I recommended Air Force and, and, and brought them in and they're not even an ROTC. It's all about the kids, right? That's where your focus should be. I mean, I know Chief Warrant Officer Three Allen's our senior Army instructor and he did 21 years in Army. Sergeant Major Haney is uh, our LET2 instructor and he did 28 years in the Army. And I was first Sergeant Crawford and I did 24 years in the Army. We don't need to be here anymore. We're retired, we get disability, but we want to see the best for the kids. That's okay. what we want to do. And what do you think is probably the uh, the biggest help that ROTC can provide for someone who does end up joining the, Air or the military? So, well, in military in general, you're going to learn communication skills, leadership skills, right? Um, definitely resilience is a really good word to use because kids just are a little different nowadays. They're smarter than maybe my generation or your generation. I, I, got, I grew up being yelled at by my dad. They don't. So that little bit of tough love, you can watch them flourish. And you, if you watch them year after year after year, a kid that won't talk to you in eighth or ninth grade all of a sudden is the leader in 12th grade through this program. And even if you don't go into service, those same leadership, communication, resiliency skills are invaluable no matter what you do. Thank you so much for your, uh, your help today. Yep. Uh, if you ever need any information about me, uh, you can reach out to First Sergeant Crawford for any uh, additional information. Uh, thank you again for all your time and I uh, appreciate everything that you do. Appreciate here. you, thank you. Uh, thank you. Hey, how's it going? I'm Staff Sergeant Bowman. I'm here at Bergman High School. Um, I'm the local Air Force recruiter over at Springfield, Missouri. And today I have... I'm Allison. And I'm Skylar. You ever heard about the Air Force before? No, not really. I mean, somewhat. So like, and where have you heard about it? Just that they're supposed to be like, top, best of the best, you know? Best of the best? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so what do you think it takes to uh, qualify for that? I, I don't know. You had a for certain score in the ASPO, I remember that part. Okay. You guys want to guess what score that is? No. <laughs> it was like 64 or something. 64? What, what's your guess? I don't have a guess. Uh, just a random, random number. What you got? I'll 50. tell you this. She's way off. No, no, you're uh, way off too. Is so it? it's actually uh, 31. 31. So yeah, and that's going to be right. for just like the kind of like the bare, you know, like, mm -hmm. like a bare minimum one. But obviously, the, the higher you score, the more jobs you qualify for, right? All right. That's, that's pretty much it. You know, I don't want to keep too much of your time. Uh, it's really quick. Uh, again, I'm Sergeant Butler, so if you guys ever need anything, let me know. Hey, how's it going? My name is Sasha Sergeant Butler, and I'm over here at Lead Hill, and I'm with Aiden. Jace. All right, and uh, so pretty much I'm with the Air Force recruiting, right? Uh, I was just trying to see if you guys ever heard about the Air Force before. Oh, yes. Okay, and what about you? Yes, I've heard of it. Okay, when have you heard about it? Well, uh, my uncle was in the Air Force for 25 years, so I've heard quite a bit. Uh, I hear quite a lot, mainly about, of course, planes and uh, working on planes. Okay. Any ever interest to you? Oh, yeah. I've taken quite a few of those. Okay. And then what about you? 
I've heard a little about it from one of my friends actually going to the Air Force. All right, so, so what are uh, some of the rumors you may have heard about the Air Force? Uh, coming from a military family, mainly Army. There's a lot of joking around with the uh, Air Force being the easiest branch, but I know that that's just a rumor. It's not true. Yep. And you know, it, it'll be, uh, I actually love that comment. It's called the Chair Force, right? Yeah, or the Chair Force. You know, I love that comment because it's kind of like this. Like, there's so many negative things you hear about other branches, right? What's the most negative thing you hear about the Air Force? Being, oh, they're a Chair Force. Like, you just imagine that, right? Like, like we're all serving the country, right? And we're all like, uh, you know, sacrificing, doing sacrifices. Not only do you say it, it's a chair for us. So yeah. I kind of find that, you know, funny. Um, yeah, I know for like my job, it definitely wasn't a chair for us. Now yeah. I was on the flight line uh, a lot of times, but again, it's um, it's very rewarding, you know. All right, again, I'm a uh, Satcher and Bullard, local Air Force recruiter, and uh, nice to meet you. go to college or when you go to the Air Force with us, uh, you, your school gets credit for college as well. So, you know, it's, uh, we're the only ones with the community college of the Air Force. Uh, at the end of the day, um, I just hope that you guys have a plan, right? Uh, especially about your junior year, I knew I, I wanted to join the Air Force when I was a junior in high school. So I had everything already planned out and I joined right at 17. And uh, right now I'm 31 and I'm retiring in seven years. So in seven years, I'll have a check for life. So, you know, that's something that's really big. I know that the pay sometimes seems small in the beginning, but I mean, there's no pay scale when it comes to retirement, right? Like it's a check that you can get for every single day of your life. I'm sorry, every single uh, month. <laughs> so again, if you guys ever have any questions, uh, he has all my cards as well. Yeah. And uh, I'm always available to talk. So, all right, that's all I have. Thank you guys so much for your time. Thanks, guys. I do appreciate it. Appreciate it. it. Hey, how's it going? I'm Staff Sergeant Butler, the local Air Force recruiter over at Springfield, Missouri. And here uh, I'm at Yellowville Summit High School with... Camber Gibson. Amy DeVore. And Landon Bruno. All right. Do you all, what's your grades? Um, I'm a senior. 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 Okay. And what are your plans for after high school? Um, I want to go to college. College? Uh, college in my home. Okay. And what about you? I'm becoming an anesthesiologist, so college. Okay. <laughs> and you guys all have like um, scholarships with it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. And a uh, full ride? Mine's full ride. Not sure yet. Okay. Mm -hmm. What are your plans to uh, to do that? Like, how are you going to make up the money, the rest of the money for it? Honestly, I'm not really sure. Are you sure? What about you? Yeah, but my sister, she'll help me. Yep, yeah. yep. So that's always good. Yeah, like, like I said, I'm not here to pressure you into yeah. doing it, right? At any means, I just want you to make sure that you guys, you guys know the options, right? So some of the options that we have is with the uh, Montgomery GI Bill, right? So after you serve half your enlistment, you can do a four-year enlistment, right? After two years, you can get out of college chase and uh, we'll pay for 36 months of college for free. Uh, we're also one of the only, well, we are the only branch that offers a uh, community college to the Air Force. Yeah, so something that I would like really suggest is um, kind of doing some research, right? Uh, make sure you know about all the options. Even after college, uh, having an Air Force still be a, an option, right? Um, I have some cards. I, I laid it out in the counselor's office in case you know you guys ever want information on it. Um, but that's all I have. If you guys have any questions for me, all right. quadratic formula now. Oh. <laughs> That's great. Alright, does anyone remember what it was? Uh, six? Can you no. use all oh, that? I don't know. Hey, how's it going? My name is Stav Sergeant Bowler. I'm the local Air Force recruiter, and right now I'm at Flipton High School with... Summer Walls. Alright, and uh, so uh, introduce yourself. You know, where, where are you from? I am from Batesville, Arkansas. Okay. Yep. And uh, you just went through the enlisted process, right? Yeah, the and how, how was, process. Yep, and how was MEPS? It was long. Okay, and uh, do you want to talk about quickly, like what MEPS, like what, what has MEPS experience meant for you? Yep. Okay, so it was just a long process and a lot of medical things. MEPS is pretty much our physical uh, qualification process. Uh, it's, it's, down, it's done at Kansas City, and what it does is pretty much make sure that you're physically qualified to join the Air Force. So uh, what makes you want to join? Because uh, I want to make sure that I have a good future and that I'm secure. Okay. 
Yep, and we can definitely do that. And uh, so right now, she's a part of the ambassador program. It's uh, allowing uh, juniors to join before they uh, pretty much turn senior. So right now it's your senior year. And uh, what are some of the jobs that you're interested in? Anything medical really, like I could do anything from surgery to like a dentist or an eye doctor. Okay. And because you're a part of the ambassador program, you actually have a higher chance of getting that uh, rather than waiting until you uh, graduate high school. So, you know, congratulations on making it through and uh, we'll be talking soon. All right. Hey, how's it going? My name is Josh Jordan Butler, and today I'm at Bakersfield High School with Trudy Summers and Misty Perry. Okay, and uh, would you mind telling me about yourself? <laughs> I am the school counselor here at Bakersfield. Uh, we, I've been here for several years now, and I think this is my 17th year. Uh, I try to encourage all my students to join the military, college, go just explore, and so I like for everybody to have an opportunity to see what's available. So I am offering a career, our first time military uh, event where I would like for all my military people to come and join and visit with our students. And I'm hoping to see you guys then. Okay. And I'm Misty Perry. I'm the college and career advisor here at Bakersfield High School. Okay. And uh, I do appreciate the invite. Uh, you can invite me out to the uh, career day for the Air Force to kind of show off uh, the benefits that we have and kind of you know, what we do in the community as well. So uh, I do appreciate the invite and I will be there. Uh, thank you for your time today. Uh, if you ever stop by the counselor's office, you can come check out some of the brochures that we have, uh, scan our IG and get more information. Uh, thank you. Hey, how's it going? I'm Sergeant Butler and I'm here at Gainesville uh, High School and I'm with... Hi, I'm Shelby. I'm from Gainesville. <laughs> Alright, and how long have you lived over here? I've lived here up, my, up here my whole entire life pretty much. Okay, and have you heard anything about the Air Force before? Uh, one of my friends, they were wanting to go into it, but I never thought it was a big deal until I started looking it up. Okay, and you know I'm the Air Force recruiter for this area, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and what are some of the things that you were looking into doing in the Air Force? I was interested in being like the pararescue. Okay, and what have you heard about the pararescue? Uh, basically that they're nurses and they have to launch themselves out of planes and they rescue people on the battlefield. Okay, something that you're interested in? Mm -hmm. Sounds very hard. Are you ready for it? I am. All right. Yeah, so one of our most elite uh, war fighters. So uh, something that we've trained for, uh, we actually have a IFT test for it. And that's um, a test that we do once a week to see where people are at and see if they can qualify to make it to the pipeline. So it's a, a very distinguished uh, honor to be called a PJ. And um, it's something that you know, I can see you in if you take the time and effort into it. And you already told me that you're, you're a good swimmer. Mm -hmm. So we need that, you know, and you gotta keep running, doing push-ups, sit-ups, pull-ups. All right, so it's your full body, right? So you're gonna have to uh, put in the work, but I'll be able to set you up with, uh, you know, for success. We have a training, uh, fit, you know, a fitness training guide that I can, hook, that I can uh, give you. So that way you know what to put in the work for. And uh, I will link you up with our special operator, uh, who, I'm sorry, our special operations recruiter will give you the uh, the tools for success. Okay. That sound good? Yeah, that sounds awesome. All right, perfect, all right. And I'll talk to you soon about it. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, I'm here at Gainesville. In case you guys ever need any more information, I have our pamphlets here, we got some candy, and we got some, uh, some brochures uh, for any information over at the counselor's office. All right, thank you. So here, I'm talking to Butler. And we're here at Moody High School, right? Yes. Uh, I'm Tyler Conkey. I'm Hugh Waters. I'm Mason Parker. All right, perfect. And uh, what grade are you all in? I'm in 12th grade. Okay. All right, I'm in 10th. 12th grade. Okay, 8th grade. What's, uh, how, what's, uh, what's the different grades from uh, school? You got the little all, all grades here? 8th to 12th. 8th to 12th, okay. So do you have any plans after high school? Um, I want to kind of travel before I go to college okay. and just kind of figure out more about myself and what I like to do. Okay, and then uh, how's your college going to be uh, here? Do you have like a scholarship for um, I'm going to, I don't have scholarships, but I want to go online and whatnot. Just, all right, now you heard about the Air Force at all? I have heard about the Air Force. 
And you know how we help with the color as well? Yep. So what do you think about that route? Um, I think it's pretty cool. I've been thinking about it, like, to be honest, because my older brother did it. And uh, who did he join? He joined, I think, two years ago. Okay, do you have a name? Um, uh, Austin. Austin Belser. Okay. Are you, uh, is he in the Air Force? Mm, I think he was going into it, but I think he got injured while he was in like training for it. Okay. And he told you to join it too? Yes. Right. Yeah. So you did join, what is the job that you're interested in? Um, I don't really thought. Have all the research done before you make this career decision. Not just like a job at Red McDonald's, right? This is a career. So alright, again I'm Sergeant Butler. Thank you for your time. Uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Hey, how's it going? My name is Tab Sergeant Butler, and I'm here at Dora High School today. I'm an Air Force recruiter, and I'm here with Dakota Bunnels. Nice. Mike Mills. Michaela Nelson. All right. Uh, yeah, pretty much, uh, again, I'm here just to kind of introduce myself, right, and kind of uh, give you that um, extra outlet of uh, resources, right? So, what grades are you in? 11. 11. 12. 12. 11. Okay, and what's your plans for after high school? Um, I'm going to get my real estate license. Okay, and what about everybody else? Uh, I'm going to be a pipeliner. Pipeliner? And a zookeeper, a wildlife reservation officer. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I just go to college. Uh, no? And how are you going to pay for your college? I don't know yet. Okay. And you know, uh, have you guys ever heard about the Air Force before? Yeah. What have you heard about the Air Force? Uh, a lot of things. Okay, what's like one big thing that, that stuck out to you about the Air Force? I'm not really sure a lot of things have, honestly. Uh, maybe, uh, you can think of just one? No. Let's see, okay, we'll come back to that. Uh, my uncle's in the Air Force, so he's working on planes and all that. So. Okay, and what did he say about, about it? Did you talk to him about joining it? Yeah, I did for a little bit. Uh, he said had best meals and all that. So. <laughs> yeah, uh, again, I'm with the uh, Dora High School. For anybody else who wants more information, there's uh, we got some SPI, you know, which is uh, some brochures about the Air Force, uh, and some treats, obviously, and some packets that they can get more information from. Uh, I do want to thank you for your time. and. Uh, Hope you guys have a good day. Okay. All right. Hey, how's it going? I'm Sergeant Butler, the local Air Force recruiter, and today I'm at Mountain Grove High School with Grayson. All right. How's it going? Uh, what's uh, what grade are you in? Uh, I'm a sophomore. Okay. And uh, so, what are your plans for after uh, graduation? Uh, I plan to go probably to college. And after that, join the Air Force. Okay. And what do you want to do in the Air Force? I want to fly fighter jets. Do you know about our, our ROTC program? No. So we do have an ROTC. Like, so you go to a, a college with the ROTC program, you apply there, and go an officer route through that college as well. So uh, we'll talk more about all your different options, but those are just like some baseline options for you. Uh, again, uh, I'm at Mountain Grove. Uh, went to talk to the counselor. There's some more information there. In case you guys ever need some more information about the Air Force, let me know. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hey, how's it going? My name is Staff Sergeant Butler. I'm the local Air Force recruiter. I'm here at Norwood High School today with Micah Thurman. All right, hey, how's it going? Uh, you are you from here or? Yeah, I moved here about four years ago. Oh, right, where'd you move from? I moved from Mountain Grove. Hey, so have you ever heard anything about the Air Force? Yeah, my uncle was in it actually. Oh, uh, what do you say about it? Uh, I'd rather do that than anything else. Where are some of your goals that you have? What do you mean? Like, what are some of your goals in life? Yeah, mechanic. Okay. And I can uh, help you with that. All right. All right. Uh, I just want to thank you again for your time. Uh, my name is Sergeant Butler. Uh, there's more information at the counselor's office uh, in case you ever want to uh, reach out and talk. Thank you. Do you guys want to introduce yourself really quick? So, like, grade and all that stuff, just sort of give us a couple, like, ideas of where you guys are in high school and everything. Okay, I'm Carter Garrison and I'm a junior. Junior? In 11th grade, yes. I'm Aaron Veenstra and I'm a sophomore. Sophomore? I'm Flo McFunky and I'm a senior. Senior? I'm Jonah Roberts and I'm a freshman. Freshman, alrighty. Do you guys have any like questions on sort of like what military is like or any questions on like what we do? Yeah, what does the Air Force like do? So for the Air Force, our main goal, so the main core values we're taught is to fly, fight, and oh, yeah. So our main goal is to help provide air support and keep the aircraft and the different air crews running and maintaining different fields in different areas across the globe. What have you all heard about the Air Force? Well, I heard it's like the best branch to go into. 
is there a specific like job you're looking at trying to get well i wanted to do like something like medical, medical. reserves but when i talked to the army recruiter he said that my asvab score wasn't high enough so i would definitely talk with the air force recruiters they can definitely give you career path guidance or ideas on what to do but there are a lot of medical fields in the air force just get ahead of that recruiter tell them this is what you're interested in doing these are the areas you're interested in and like both of us we got our top top three jobs so his was number one this is my number two job so we both have gotten a job that we both really had high on our list Mm -hmm. So with the Air Force especially, they their goal is to try and get you the actual job that you're going for. That top three job is usually what you're going to get. Hey, how's it going? My name is Tyler Sergeant Butler. I'm the local Air Force recruiter here at Ava High School. And uh, I'm going to introduce to you one of the students here, as well as two of my rappers. Rappers are, are people who are assisting me with the recruiter assistant program. Uh, they just graduated from tech school, stopping by their local community in the area to kind of give more information about okay. the Air Force. All right, man. You want to introduce yourself just a little bit? That way. Um, I'm Carter Mahan. I play for the Ava Bears football team. Um, I'm active in uh, all the sports, basically. Um, that's about pretty much it. What grade are you in? I'm a senior. Senior? Okay. So is there like a specific job or career? trying to go into nursing nursing okay nursing. so we do have a very big medical field in the air force so they do a lot of training with that so you would go into the recruiter and tell them you're going to do nursing or medical and you would apply to do those jobs uh, do an ASVAB test out with the ASVAB centers here in Missouri so everybody goes through basic training and everything then they pick their uh, specific field so you will pick your specific field before you go to most of the time before you go to BMT if you don't pick your specific field you'll go into an aptitude range so depending on what job you want there's four different aptitude ranges in the air force you've got the mage system so m is mechanical a administration g general so do they test you on that or do you just like get set in that area it's all a part of your um, asvab scores so your asvab score is what's going to give you your four age score numbers so each number will be depending on how you do the test and most of it's high school high school and some college level study stuff any other questions you have for me man no i think that's about it all right yeah. well, thank you man we appreciate you nice, nice to meet you I promise. Hey, how's it going? My name is Staff Sergeant Butler, the local Air Force recruiter, and today I'm at Sparta High School with Michaela Wigton, Dexter Lowe, Dominic Brewer, Ethan Barbie. So I'm um, here today to see if you have any questions about people who have just recently graduated from basic training at tech school. Uh, tech school is kind of where they go to learn their job. Basic is where they go to kind of get the top fundamentals of uh, the Air Force. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. All right. What was yours? So is it like, you said tech school, is it like, do you do a whole lot of stuff on computers? Or so some of it's on computers. It depends on your tech school job. So your job is going to change what you do, where you are, and how you're doing it. How long have you been doing this? How long have you been in the Air Force? So I actually swore into the Air Force back in early March. Uh, went to tech school, I went to BMT March 8th, graduated April 29th, and went to tech school. And then I just graduated tech school and I'm out here helping our recruiters out here in the region with recruiter assistance. Yeah, I left for BMT January 25th of this year, so over six months now. Just a little quick Q&A, right? Q &A, uh, get some more information, uh, see who we are, and uh, I do appreciate you guys for coming out. Yeah. And uh, again, like I said, I'm Staff Sergeant Butler over at Sparta High School. If you ever need any more information, you can contact your counselor and she can get you in direct lines with me as well. Thank you. All right, thank you so much. Hey, how's it going? My name is Staff Sergeant Butler, the local Air Force recruiter, and today I'm at Chadwick High School with... Dominic Gregory. Ethan Barbie. And Brody Archer. What was what your plan? After? My plan is after high school, join pipeline roll field. Okay. Uh, I have thought about army because it's family tradition. Yeah. Marines or army. Uh, my dad was an E7. He served through all of like Desert Shield, Desert Storm. Yeah. Uh, he 
after that and it just kind of thing with tradition. Okay. And then uh, something else because of that, um, usually uh, depending on, on like the situation that we're at, that's why it's always ways of recruiting, right? Yes, um, you, because your dad was a prior service, you know, uh, we can sometimes work with that. If you guys ever need any uh, supplies or candy or brochures, I have that at your counselor's office. Uh, thank you for your time. Hey, how's it going? My name is Staff Sergeant Butler, the local Air Force recruiter, and today I'm at Bradleyville High School, and I'm here with Kesha Lim. And Olivia Maggard. Dominic Gregory. Ethan Barbie. Do you guys, I'm guessing, go seniors? Yeah. Okay. Do you guys have your careers set out, what you're wanting to do? Yeah, I've been thinking about what I'm wanting to do. I'm trying to pursue that. I'm trying to go into, like, computer engineering. Computer engineering? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, are you going to like college or are you going to? Yeah, I'm probably gonna go to college. Okay. Um, so the Air Force would, is something that we always like to talk about with that, especially if you're looking at college. Um, there is the GI Bill and the Montgomery GI Bill and the post 9-11 GI Bill that you have access to as a military member. Uh, they help pay for your college once you get out of the military, but you also have benefits while you're inside. Uh, you have the Military Tuition Assistance Program, which is MILTA. You get $4,500 accrued to you every year. You don't get it in on hand, but every class of college you take up to $4,500 is paid for by the Air Force. So I can go do classes at near my Air Force base and anything that I do online or hands-on will get paid for by the Air Force. What about uh, medical? Same Washington. thing. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of medical. We have every type of medical. So there's like dental, there's vision. So there's, no matter what type of medical field you're going to, we actually just spoke with a guy from Ava who's going to like nursing. So uh, we do nursing, they do all that stuff. So medical field is something that they very need. A lot of the tech schools will actually train you on your certifications for your job. So nursing, medical, uh, engineer, anything, aviation, they'll actually certify you in the military. And usually you'll get certs or certifications that actually will go with you when you graduate out of the military when you go out and you uh, retire. And thank you guys for coming in. We appreciate it. Thank you guys. Hey, how's it going? My name is Staff Sergeant Butler, and I'm the local Air Force recruiter, and I'm here today at Forsyth High School. Uh, I just dropped by to get some information now. Uh, if you ever stop by the counselor's office, you have some brochures, some packets about general Air Force, uh, Air Force information. Uh, if you need any more, feel free to contact me with any of the business cards that are there, or pick up a brochure so you can see some more information. Thank you for your time. Hey, how's it going? My name is Staff Sergeant Butler, the Air Force recruiter, and I'm here at Hollister High School with Dominic Ward. All right, and uh, so we were talking earlier, uh, where are you from? Hollister. Hollister, all your life? Yep. Okay, and uh, so what grade are you in? Senior. Okay, and then uh, do you have any plans for after high school? No, nah, it's boxing, kickboxing. Boxing, kickboxing? Yeah. Okay, but have you ever heard about the Air Force before? Uh, not really, just by a uh, stepbrother. Okay, and what does he say? What do you say about it? Uh, it not, not too much, so he said my ROTC, so he wants to go into the Air Force. Okay, and has he ever talked to Air Force recruiter before? Uh, not that I know of. Okay, so yeah, we'll have to get some more information oh, from yeah. him too. So, but yeah, so pretty much what we're doing right now is just kind of helping uh, other students kind of get more information on it. Uh, just some quick little questions, right? Uh, if you ever need more information though, uh, I do have some information with the counselors. I have packets uh, that has brochures on it and um, a QR code that goes straight to our Instagram. So you can kind of see like behind the scenes on um, different questions that we do, different interviews that we do. Uh, I do want to thank you for your time. Um, if you ever have any more questions, you just let me know, okay? All right, thank you. More did you forget, bro? Put put GOD first and nothing less, no. On a radar parallel. Hey, how's it going? I'm Staff Sergeant Butler, the local Air Force recruiter, and today I'm at Glendale High School with Ashton Rushing, Ethan Barbie, Dominic Gregory. I heard you were interested in like talking about the military. Yeah, my grandpa was a ranger. Okay, and uh, is that what you're trying to follow in those footsteps? Okay, and is that like the only special operations uh, side that you were looking at? No, I'm open to all. Have you ever seen our special operations side? I haven't. Okay, so yeah, I'll give you a little card on that. So a little bit about our special operations side is uh, we have um, kind of like a, a big program that you go into at first it's with the school week. So once you qualify with the IFT test, and uh, he actually just did a, uh, our, our Sergeant Regano just did a big, big video on that. So I can give you the link to that video so you can kind of see like behind the scenes of it. Um, it's a very uh, prestigious program, right? 
and uh, it's very uh, hard, right? But I mean, if you just put your time and effort into it, you will make it. So if I already have an ASRAM score, I'm filed with the other one? Because I got a 61. No. No. Well, it depends on uh, how long ago was that. This year. Yeah, no, yeah. yeah, the ASVAB stays good for about two, two years. years. So as long as you go and do your application, you go into the uh, delayed entry program or the death program within those two years, then you don't have to worry about taking it again. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Again, I'm South Turner Buller at Glendale High School. In case you guys have any, any more information, have your brochures here, and uh, or just get with your counselor to uh, have a talk. All right, thank you so much for your time. Right. Every year's all, yeah. I saw. Yeah. 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 Ye